Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to put the clay nose weight into the nose cone. Uh, we got a full stick of clay, and we're going to stick all of it into the nose cone. This rocket needs to move the center of gravity as far forward as possible. With these big wings on it like these, it moves that center of pressure pretty far forward. Normally it would be back here by the fins. On this rocket, it's right around here. So we need to get that center of gravity forward. That's why we need all the clay nose weight. Um, to put it in, we're going to take this hole here and we're going to enlarge it. Um, you can do this with a drill or you can do it with a hobby knife. Um, I want to work the hole away from this post here because I don't want to um, make it weaker. See, I'm just making it little by little, making it larger. And you only need to make it as large as your wood dowel. You need a, a long dowel so that you can press it down to the bottom. So you can see about, you know, 14 or 15 inches long would be fine. Oops, my uh, knife blade came out. Okay, so that's big enough. All these pieces that are rattling around, um, once you push the, the, the nose weight in, it's going to trap them all in there anyway, so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, so our next thing is to take the, the clay and we're going to roll it up. So it will pass through the hole. And then we're going to take the wood dowel and I'm just going to kind of plunge it down. Like an old butter churn. If you don't know what a butter churn is, I've never used one either. I'm not that old. <laughs> so just keep doing this until you get it all inside the nose cone. Um, and then when you're done, this, this clay has a little bit of like vegetable oil in it um, to keep it soft so it doesn't dry out. Um, that's going to get on your hands and it's going to get on the nose cone. So make sure you wipe it off um, with some like soapy water just to get it all off. So because you're going to be gluing the canopy onto it if you already haven't, um, and you just want to make sure that it, it sticks really good. 